In this session, we're going to be discussing Domain Keys Identified Mail, also referred to as DKIM or DKIM. Uh, I'm probably going to end up swapping back and forth between you know, either of those uh, acronyms during this session, so why don't we get right into it. Domain Keys Identified Mail, DKIM, is a method to prevent spoofing. You know, we've got another very long uh, explanation here. But ultimately, it comes down to, uh, just like SPF, uh, DKIM is a way to prevent jerks from spoofing email. You may ask uh, why you need DKIM if you're using SPF. Um, the simple answer is that it just provides an additional method of preventing messages from being spoofed. Uh, what it does is embeds information into the header of the emails, which helps identify that the sender of that message is valid by embedding a key into that header, which can be compared against a private key that is just kind of stored on the server so that we can verify whether or not that email came from a source uh, that should have been sending that email. Um, SPF and DKIM are also used, they're both used by DMARC, which is uh, an another, another layer of security that we're gonna be discussing later. Um, but it, in order for things to pass DMARC, they have to pass SPF and or DKIM, so uh, enabling DKIM allows us to uh, provide that authentication uh, scenario for DMARC to work properly. 